Here at Rutgers CARTA and CBM, we have created a collaborative and multidisciplinary program which is really unique. It combines cutting edge science and technology, the brightest minds, and industrial connections. The computational biomedicine aspect of the program consists of uh, clinical applications, preclinical applications, and neuromorphic computing. Neuromorphic computing is the next big step towards biomimicry. It is important because we rely on that knowledge that has been accumulated over centuries and we try to imitate that biological intelligence and bring it to intelligent machines. The learning to humans is actually not simply learn the pattern, but it's actually building the model of the things in the world. What I'm doing is uh, actually I want the machine learn this kind of uh, models automatically without human supervision. And in the future, we will have some pretty general robots in our home, and that needs to have very general knowledge, and that can have uh, very general skills to do many different things. Robotics also try to mimic humans' movement. Uh, we have more and more older people, and the aging problem become a you know global uh, issue. And uh, we can say maybe you know 30 even 40% of our population is going to be elderly people and many of them may not be working by themselves and they do need some kind of devices in the future. I'm closely working with the rehabilitation hospital here and they're designing robot and I'm also designing robot and we were trying to help people from different aspects. Another aspect of the program here at Rutgers is multimodal sensory analytics and that entails machine learning, computer vision, and natural language processing. I'm working on intelligent robotic manipulation, which is how to deal with objects that are unknown, objects that are placed in arbitrary locations, um, and objects that can be cluttered, and the robot needs to figure out independently, autonomously, how to deal with these objects. Uh, I focus my attention on multi-robot motion planning and multi-object manipulation tasks. Uh, what we do in terms of algorithmic robotics is that we design algorithms that make robots do smart things. We want to really make things work faster and better. I design algorithms to squeeze that little bit of extra performance of a system. As you can imagine, right, in today's environment, just to get 1-2% of better performance than the rest of your comp competition will make you a winner. The third aspect of the program at Rutgers is modeling, which entails computer graphics, physics-based modeling, generative adversarial network-based methods, and biomechanical modeling. There are many problems in robotics and biomechanics that are not easily solvable and for which um, analytical models don't exist. Oftentimes, it is very difficult to perform lots of experiments on the robot because it can damage the robot or the particular action may not be possible to replicate in laboratory settings. And so physics simulation is an easy way to learn efficient policies before trying them on the real hardware. That's uh, where I come in and I actually look at the full spectrum of uh, problems to explore this uh, different alternative. Here at Rutgers, we have great sponsors who provide funding and support. Collaboratively, we provide solutions and the greatest young minds. I am collaborating with some of the leading chip manufacturers in the world, and uh, there are also companies like uh, special effects industries and uh, video game industries that are interested in these technologies also. Uh, I've actually started working with industry uh, quite closely. Currently, uh, I'm actually leading an uh, industrial uh, project working with a recycling company. Uh, that they want to essentially automate many, many of their product lines. I think maybe the unique thing about our research is uh, that we are being at the intersection of industry and academia. Um, so what we are trying to do is solve real world uh, pro project. So our projects, most of them are funded by, by companies that are really interested in getting this, this problem solved. And at the same time, we are using the latest technologies in academia that we are trying to develop and make them more efficient in practice. 
The rugs gave me the opportunity to, to work on both technology and medicine. And CBM provided me the opportunity to access technology side. I working with a lot of talent, PhD and master student to develop robots. Some of our work have, have been picked up uh, and recognized um, by the robotics society. They are being recognized uh, as candidate for best paper awards. We are presenting at IROS this year a paper that shows how a neuromorphic approach can be as accurate as a more conservative uh, technology such as G-mapping, while at the same time it is 100 times more efficient when it comes to energy. Uh, I came to Rutgers because of the faculty here. Uh, they're very strong in AI and specifically computer vision. Rutgers has a good has good faculty in machine learning and computer vision, which I want to do research in. So I came to Rutgers because of the good faculty here, the uh, beautiful environment here. We've created a collaborative and multidisciplinary program, which is really unique. We combine cutting edge science and technology, the brightest minds and industry connections. Here at Rutgers, we create the future.